commenting with Google Plus sucks. But commenting with Reddit is awesome. So head on over to Reddit and leave a comment on this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today I am here with more Skyrim. I'm here with Joran and Inigo, and of course Mala. We're here in solitude, where we have come at the request of Delphine, one of the Blades, an elite organization. And we're here to meet an informant who will help us get into the Thalmor Embassy. Delphine believes that the dragon attacks that have happened here in Skyrim are a result of the Thalmor, and she has asked us to gather information. Doing what we do best, sneaking, spying, and otherwise getting into trouble. <laughs> so let's head on in. First, Mala's had a long trip over from her home in White Run to Solitude. And as you know, in the past few episodes, we had a lot of adventure on that trip, including fighting two dragons at once. So let's get a room. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Thank you. I am looking to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Come on, Jordan. This is a lovely inn you have here. It's very clean. Ah! Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. This will do nicely. You may go. Well, for once, someone did something I asked him to do. It never happens. He was a very agreeable innkeeper, Mala. Yes, now. The first thing we need to do is have something to eat because I'm starving. I know it was just this morning that we left Dragon's Bridge and made our way here to Solitude, but it feels like it was days ago. First we'll have some bread. And some tea. And some milk. Okay. Not only am I looking for what Mala would like to eat, but I'm also thinking about the fact that we're about to do a dangerous mission. And so I'm kind of buffing her up a bit here. And we're going to take some vegetable soup. Vegetable soup is some of the best stuff. I learned this from as many things I've learned from the couch warrior. And I believe he learned it from someone else. <laughs> that vegetable soup is uh, wonderful for buffing up your your stamina um, uh, before a fight, which is wonderful for Mala because she's going to be using a uh, needing that stamina as we go through the day today. And some steak and also I'm going to continue to buff her up with some fortify potions. And actually, I'll have her take those just a little bit later so that we'll have them right when we need them. So, what now? Well, Mala, I think we go down and find, uh, I believe his name is Malborn. We find Malborn. He's our informant. So the trick here, Mala... Excuse me, my friend. Thank you, Inigo. By the way, have you any thoughts to share? Yes, my friend. If you want to have a chat, maybe we should take a seat. My tongue wags more when I am not using my legs. We'll have to chat at another time, Inigo, because... If you because anything else, just ask. I shall. Because we, we need to take care of business now. Let's go find this, uh... Malborn. Shall we? Oh. What are you Let doing in our room? Here for a while. 
Who are you? Feel free to make requests. Oh, you are the bard. You know, I heard you playing when we came in. I think your voice is very beautiful. By the way, you must hear a lot of what's going on in town. Do you know the word of anything that's happening? Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the it Blue Palace. Nice and warm in here. A visitor? Well, thank you, Lizette. That is actually very helpful. You should think about staying the night. Corpulus keeps a clean inn. I can see, and you are currently sitting in where I'll be staying for the night, so I hope when I'm coming back to stay for the night, your butt will be gone. Nice talking to you. <laughs> okay, Mala. <laughs> now that you've offended the bard, <laughs> let's go downstairs and find Malborn. Now, Mala, listen up. Yes. The important thing, Mala, is to act nonchalant. We don't want to get this guy in any trouble for helping us out. I think the Thalmor would cause more than trouble to him. They would cause the end of his life. So, is he in here? No, this is a bedroom. All right, I will act nonchalant. Observe. <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> Mala, what are you doing? I am behaving nonchalantly. Uh, no, Mala. You're behaving like a person who is obviously desiring to make everyone in the inn remember them for days on end afterwards. Well, what would you do? Just go over and buy something, Mala. Hello? Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. I would like to, uh, buy something. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Mala, we're gonna have to work on your spying and acting <laughs> nonchalant skills. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's see what he has. Hmm, not much. I'll get a bit of rabbit for Jordan. He likes that. And a sweet roll for myself to celebrate with this evening. Remember the winking skeever next time your foot sore. I shall, thank you. Ah, well. Perhaps I shall find a seat? Seems there's always more to be done. Who is that? Well, if I were an informant, Mala, and I wanted to inform, I would do it in a dark corner, so I bet this is our man. Ah, yes. May I take a seat? Thank you. I was told to meet you here. Good morning. A mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? What? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Well, what do you mean, what I can't live without? I mean... Do you mean like food, or potions, or change of clothing? You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you well, actually I... want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Move quietly and kill quickly. All right, well, let's see what I have in my little bag of tricks. How am I supposed to know? Let me get a few things ready. I need to slip up to my room for just a few moments. I'll, I'll give you a few more minutes. I can't wait here all day. It's my neck on the line, remember? I remember. Take care and just wait one moment. Inigo, come on. We have a little work to do. So what are you thinking, Mala? I'm thinking that we are in trouble as usual. Well, yes, there is that. 
Come on, join. Where's Inigo? Okay, close the door. Inigo, it turns out that we will need to give him things to sneak in for us. That means we won't be able to take anything that we need, and you may not even be able to come along. So I'm going to have what to give you everything mind? in my back. That's what's on my mind. So, Mala is going to hand over everything she has to Inigo. And we are going to give... We're going to give him our battle staff. We're going to keep our battle staff. And also there was a dagger in here. I think there was. An iron dagger of shocks. Um, Mala is thinking about the walking staff can be... Um, I'm sorry, the, the battle staff can she can pretend is a is a walking staff or, you know, it will go all Gandalf all, on them. And uh, the uh, iron dagger is something I'm imagining that she could slip into her boot or stick up under by her thigh, tie and on her thigh somehow. So we'll do that. Um... I'm going to give him basically everything that Mala Mala has to carry. Except what she's wearing, of course. She'll get all that back from Delphine. I'll give that to him. And we'll give him that and that. Excellent. We're also going to give him our um, our pouches and flask. This is her water flask. Dark pouches vial holder for her potions. Um, I'll take her earrings off. Her amulet, her alchemy ring. She's just going to go kind of bare. And he will take that as well, too. And that leaves her with just a cloak. Her backpack. I think I'm going to have her give that to him, too. And the box pouch. Both sides. And that should do it. And over here, I'm going to pause while I empty out the rest of her inventory. We are all clean. We have her gold, what she's wearing on her back, and the two things that she's going to give her weapons that she's going to give over to Malborn. And so let's go back downstairs. All set? Yes, I am. All right, Joanne. Now is as good as dime as any. Watch out, Inigo. Excuse me, my friend. Ah, thank you. Inigo rarely gets us uh, Mala stuck in doorways, which is a wonderful aspect of uh, his programming. He's done, done very well by Gary, who was the creator of the mod. I'm also noticing Gary takes a lot of time to uh, ask Inigo what he thinks at certain places. For example, we can ask him any thoughts. For you. And I keep forgetting to do that, so I'm making a, a note to myself to make sure and ask Inigo what he thinks in different areas, because that's where you get the real comedy and the excellence of the writing that is in Inigo in this fantastic mod. I've never tried winking at a skeever before. I usually just lay them on sight and save the subtle body language for the ladies. Oh, Inigo. Ready? <laughs> you flirt. <laughs> oh, Mala, stick your tongue in. I, I'm trying. Okay, where is he? Ah, yes, over here. I am ready. I have just a few things for you. You ready yet? I need to get back before I missed. Remember, you won't have anything except what I smuggle in for you. Pardon me, moving the camera. That was an accident. I am ready, Melbourne. 
Here, here are just a few things. This you can pretend is a walking stick, and this dagger should be small enough to slip in without any problem. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Yes, don't worry. Famous last words. Here you go. And here's my battle staff. Everything else, Inigo carries for me. Good day. All right, join. Let's go. You'd better hurry back. Ah. You'd better leave first. I'll sit here and wait for a minute. We don't want to be too obvious that we are in cahoots, as they say. And we're doing an auto scribe here. So now, Mala is ready to go. Let's head out and meet Delphine. I hope he manages to stay safe. He seems like a good man. And to try and cross the Thalmor, you have to be very brave. What is on your mind? Uh, oh! Inigo, put something on. Thank you. <laughs> That's what happens if you turn around too quickly, uh, right after we've looked gone from a city environment. Not now, Bubu. Do not chase the butterflies now. You and those butterflies. Come on, Jordan. By the way, uh, each time that Joran goes off and does that excited little chirp and chases the butterflies, he actually ends up with butterflies. Let's see if I can see him. Well, he'll come back in a minute. But the next time I go into his inventory, you'll see that he has blue butterfly wings in his inventory. So he really does catch those butterflies. Mala, do you wish to stop? <laughs> There's that little chirp again. Joran is the best. And I also haven't had a chance, I don't know if I've ever really thanked the mod creators for Joran, but uh, the people who did create mod, I'm very, uh, create Joran, I'm very grateful for that mod. He's a wonderful, come, come and see what goods I look, at, look at him. It's lunchtime. He always catches up. In case you're interested. <laughs> Let me show. We will have to worry about that later. Perhaps we can eat at the party. So if we go, uh, what do you have there? It'll show his inventory and boo blue butterfly wings. There they go. <laughs> he also has an arrow, so uh, I think perhaps when he was fighting at some point, an, uh, a, a Nord arrow penetrated him. But anyway. <laughs> Far I have traveled to bring you these fine goods. Come and see what I offer. I shall. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? You are Madran. I am Mala, and I am wondering what you have for sale, good friend. Take a look. I love the Khajiit caravans. I really do. And I actually, even though I don't think it's at all fair that the Khajiit are outside of cities, the way they are and segregated the way they are, I think that's horrible. But I do like that they are in these caravans. I, um, you know, it's just so nice when you go to a city and the Khajiit caravan is there because it isn't always. Let's see if there's anything. We definitely don't need any potions. We have enough of those. But we're going to buy some Khajiiti tea, which is one of uh, Mala's favorite teas. And it also gives her better sneak as well, too, which we could use. Um, I'm also going to get uh, some moon sugar, just maybe one. So we can make some Ellsworth fondue, which is one of Mala's favorite foods. And then there's nothing in here. So that's usually what we buy when we Your stop by the caravan. To warm sands. And do you as well? Thank you. I like to come out into this air, you know, even in the city, it's more, the air is close, and there are more people, but the minute I come out on the trail, I feel better again. You know what, Mala? So do I. Being out in Skyrim is a wonderful experience. Guardian Angel? Yes, Mala? Can you smell 
Skyrim, are you here? Like, are you just floating above my head? No, Mala. I've told you before, I'm in another dimension. Another place. We have smells here. But I cannot smell Skyrim. That is too bad. You are missing out. Particularly as I stand behind this horse behind. Woo! Oh, that was a bit much. <laughs> By the way, I have, um, due to the wonderfulness of some viewers, I have uh, chosen a name for Mala's horse. Uh, I'm sorry, Inigo's horse. This is Inigo's horse here, the brown horse. And I do believe it was Caleb who suggested that uh, the horse be called Beast. Because Mala's horse, horse is called Beauty. <laughs> and so we have our two horses, Beauty and the Beast. And that's a wonderful idea. Thank you very much, Caleb, for that idea. And um, I, I thought about it for a little bit. <laughs> Look at Inigo sweeping up over there. Um, I thought about, you know, different names, but it just seemed like that worked. Beauty and the Beast. So... There you go. There's Beast. The Beast Horse. Anyway, Mala, let's concentrate. It's time to go over and talk to Delphine. She's waiting for us there. She must... These uh, people must be friends of hers. Yes. Inigo, watch the horses. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes. I gave him my battle staff... And a small dagger with shock enchantment on it. It should be small enough and easy enough to slip in without giving him any trouble. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here. Put this on. When you're ready. I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Malborn smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. I see. Well, let's see what she's given me here. We'll slip into this small area here. So we can have some semblance of privacy. A nice little farm. And put these on and take this off. And I believe we should give all these things to Inigo Mala. I agree. How do I look? <laughs> Let's just say that most party clothes, if this is what she calls party clothes, it leaves a lot to be desired. That's what I think. But, you know, Mala... You are a good companion. We keep <laughs> each other safe, yes? I, uh... I... We'll just wait until we get there. Perhaps there may be something we can do about this. I sincerely hope so, because these clothes itch. They're very uncomfortable, and I do not at all look feminine. Dragon? Or a thousand angles? So I think I look like a small boy, to be actually. To be sure. Anyway. Inigo, here. here for you. Carry these things for me, will you? Let's give her a cloak, her hood, her boots, her gloves. And now we're down to basically nothing. Um... I'll give her her tea, his tea, the moon sugar, and um, we have our note, and that's it. That's all we need. If you need anything else, just ask. I don't know if you'll be allowed to travel with us, Inigo. I hope so. This land is very pretty. All right, I am ready. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Uh, yes, I am. But, Delphine, are you sure that I'll be able to get in and get out? I find myself a touch nervous. But, I am ready. Keep the rest of my things safe for me, will you? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. And watch Good over Joran and Inigo. <sighs> uh, 
And there we go. And actually, I'm going to end this episode here right when we arrive in the embassy. I'm going to pause our gameplay right here. In the next episode, we're going to head on in, infiltrate this embassy. I'm sure it's going to be <laughs> extremely interesting. I do like this quest line a lot. And let me know if you're enjoying it as well, too. We are working through the main quest line of Skyrim with Mala, Inigo, and Joran. If you enjoyed what you saw today, please hit the thumbs up button below and encourage me. And if you loved what you saw, join the party, the ever-growing party, and subscribe. I'll see you back here in Skyrim, about to kick some Thalmor booty, although very secretly and stealthily, <laughs> in the next episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. Get every new Jessa Channel video right in your email inbox. Subscribe, then from your YouTube homepage, Click Manage Subscriptions, then check Email with new uploads. And thanks for watching.